Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about hand and nail care routine. So it's winter now and as we know our hands get dry in winter, especially when we spend a lot of time inside and there's a lot of heating, strong heating, especially if you live in cold countries, so the hands really get dry and then we go out and there is a cold wind and it's just our hands never get a, get a break so um, let's start to treat our hands accordingly and as a matter of fact our hands are the first thing that actually reveal our age so let's start with the the basic the scrub there is no specific rule, of course, for the hand care routine and uh, you don't really need specific uh, hand scrub. I use the Body Shop scrub, one of my favorite scrubs in general. This is the Shea Butter one and it's a kind of a mini version. It's very handy. When it comes to the hand creams, I also think that there is no need for specific hand cream as long as you have a good body lotion. It should work. Like. I personally love the, just to have this in the bathroom, the big body lotion that is thick and moisturizing and it's just with a pump. So every time I enter the bathroom, I just, you know, pump several times and, you know, easy and I go. So this one I use in winter especially because it's very moisturizing. It's Trixera by Vene Emulant Cream. It's also the face cream, okay, I use it only for the body and for the hands super moisturizing for sensitive dehydrated skin love this product and oh my god so much light i don't know if you can see this one i recommend in general not only for the hands this is like one of the best body lotions and it's pharmaceutical so pharmaceutical yeah anyhow you can buy it in the pharmacy now well i mean there is hand creams obviously i have a lot of hand creams but they're mainly like small sizes where i put them in my purse and just carry them around and the ones that i love the most are by uh, the french brand lexitane so i have this one in rose they have many of them they have almond honey rose bergamot so many so you can choose depending on your taste i love rose so having rose right now so next well if you want to treat your hands like really treat your hands if they repair your hands if because they're dry or the skin is cracking or it is just like one once per week treatment which we all need especially in winter i would suggest to use the uh, the hand mask there are hand masks especially well there are plenty in sephora so I picked one today actually, the new one that I haven't tried yet because um, this is the sheet mask I suppose. No, this is the hand gloves, of course, how can you put it? This is the hand gloves and it's argan, and enhanced with argan oil. So um, probably it should be the thing to do. If you don't have the hand gloves, I mean you can always make a, your moisturizing mask which I very often do and I use this Nivea cream which is classic and everyone has in the house and I put some uh, organic rose hip oil in it and I simply massage it into my hands normally I take time with that I just maybe sit in front of TV or I don't know watch something and simply massage it, the cream everywhere every finger and then it's just I mean I, I think this is one of the best things and then very often I put on a gloves the moisturizing gloves which looks like this everybody knows and I slip in them so basically it completely uh, replaces any hand mask because this is uh, what better can be and what else if you don't have the Nivea cream or oils one of the most natural thing to do is to just um, to use the organic coconut oil 
which basically I always use as well. I don't know, I use a lot of things and this is one of the things that I use a lot. This is so moisturizing. And most of the time, I mean, of course, I don't suggest, I don't advise you to put it on your hands and then go to sleep right away because, well, you really need time for it to absorb, but it's a super product. It can be used on face, on your body, everywhere. So this is what goes for the hands. For the nails, well, there is no specific care for the nails except the regular routines. First of all, make sure that you don't wear nail polish every day, every day, really give it a break. Also, make sure that your nail polish remover is quite gentle. I love this one by Sephora and has white peach extract in it. In general, peach extracts are very good for the nails and cuticles. So this one is super gentle and I, I use this one doesn't rotate your nails, it just, it simply feels like it doesn't do anything bad to your nails. Obviously there are a lot of chemicals in there, but they are reduced to minimum. The thing that I like a lot and I use a lot almost every day is this, um, this nourishing oil, nail and cuticle treatment by L'Occitane. It comes kind of in this thing. So you sort of squeeze out the, I don't know if you can see, the oil from this little tube. Just you go around your nail like this and then you massage it and that's it. It's not big but it has enough product in it. I've been using it already for a long time, I don't know, it's still there so it's quite good. Another thing, if you like to put a nail polish a lot, make sure that you use the, the base that actually protects your nail. This one that I use is by Essie. It's called Strong. It's called Strong. Growth, grow Stronger. So yeah. So this one. I've been using it for already half a year. And I should say that I think it, it helped because my nails started to crack and be very fragile and I really started to investigate what nail base I should use and actually I was advised on this one and I have to say I love it. So yeah, this was looks like this, basically this is kind of a peachy color. I actually can even wear it alone, it has a little bit of a peachy color, so it's nice. So yeah, I hope I haven't missed on anything. This is pretty much it. Hands are very important. I hope you enjoyed my video and I see you next week. Bye bye.